All right, people, welcome back. Card review. So, we are looking at a Stardust monster, because I believe that the the Five Ds manga is over. Yeah, you know, it's interesting that the anime <clears throat> ended you know, a long time ago. I mean, come on, we're already up in Arc Five, but the manga you know continued, and we kept on giving them uh, interesting little uh, manga cards like you know Spark and and uh, Hot Red. So. Um, yeah, apparently this is it. This is the final Stardust. This is Stardust's final form. Because it's actually Stardust. But I guess Quasar is kind of like Stardust? I don't know. I don't know. But this is supposed to be it. This is supposed to be the big shebang. So, this is Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon. I thought it was just Stardust Chronicle Dragon, but I guess they slapped in Spark. I don't know, maybe like a translation error, but yeah. Stardust Chronicle Spark Dragon. So... This is a light dragon synchro effect monster, level 10, 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense, so just like the same stats as like an assault mode or something. It is made with one tuner synchro monster and one or more non-tuner synchro monsters, so just like how you would make like, uh, I don't know, like Stardust Warrior or something, you could just go ahead and make this instead. What's that other one? Uh, Shooting Star, I think? I don't know. It's been so long time. I think it's I think it's shooting star. I think it's the same way. So your uh, tuner synchro monster, which I'm assuming will probably be uh, that powerful formula synchron. Go ahead and combine it with. Doesn't even need to be Stardust. It could be any uh, level eight synchro monster that's a non-tuner. Just go ahead and bam, summon this. <laughs> so uh, it's effect. It must be synchro summon. It cannot be special summon. By the way, so. Even if you summon it properly, you can't summon it from the graveyard. So, you know, generally like with Synchro Monsters where they gotta be Synchro Summoned from the, uh, from the extra deck properly before you can go ahead and revive them. So, for example, if you summon something off of, like, Starlight Road by blocking something Stardust and then it dies or uses its effect, you don't get to summon it back. It wasn't summoned properly. But if you go ahead and summon something through Synchroing and it dies, and you, you can go ahead and call, call the hunt. Yeah, sure, go ahead. But this? No. Nah. Must be Synchro Summoned, cannot be supposed to by the way, so... Even if it dies after you Synchro Summon it, nope, nope. Put another one in the extra deck, summon another one. <laughs> Try again. So, that's fine, I guess. So, it's fact, let's get to the juicy part. Once per turn, during either player's turn, either player's turn, spells for you two, the power. You can banish one Synchro Monster from your graveyard. Until the end of this turn, it says the card is unaffected by other card effects. Period. So, of course, I'm assuming that you're going to be synchro summoning this with the uh, bare minimum one tuner synchro monster and one uh, non tuner synchro monster. So that's already two. So you can do this twice during either player's turn. You can go ahead and just banish that formula synchron. Can't touch me. Unaffected by the card effects. I mean, uh, you can still get crashed into. And, you know, you're 3,000. You're over the attack barrier, but you can still get crashed into, you know. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna summon my Starlust Chronicle Spark Dragon, so strong. Like what? I can go into Stardust Warrior and stop your inherent summons? Nah, psh, because this, I'm unaffected by fucking card effect. I'm the motherfucking boss. I am badass as fuck. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, summon, summon, synchro summon into Beals. Or both 3000. Oh, I'm gonna use my effect. I'm unaffected by all the card effects, but I'm gonna, man, we're gonna battle and you're gonna die. And I can't be doing battle because I'm Beals, bitch. So, uh,. Yeah, that's kind of what you have to worry about, you know. There's times where Warrior will be better, there's times when this will be better, but... Oh, this card also has one more effect. So, this card in its owner position is destroyed by your opponent, by battle by card effect. There you go. You can target one of your banished dragon-type synchro monsters and special summon it. So, like I said, uh... You're probably going to be using Formula Synchron and then a level 8 non tuner Synchro monster, which a good majority of them are dragons, you know, whether it be Stardust Dragon or Hot Red or Red Dragon Ice Cream if you're still playing that, or Scrap Dragon or Beagles, you know. So, probably when you first use this effect, the first one you want to go ahead and banish, the Synchro monster you want to banish to make yourself unaffected by other card effects, is that dragon type Synchro monster. So, of course, when this card is destroyed by your opponent, opponent either by battle or by card effect you go ahead and uh, target that uh, banish your dragon synchro monster and special summon it. and like i said if it was summoned properly you're good so uh yeah uh, overall i think that this is a totally fun totally fun card uh it's an it's a nice it's a nice beater i like it you know there's a uh, there's situations where you want to use something in your uh 
in your extra deck in your toolbox to answer cards and then there's cards that you want to use to go on the offensive you know generally you don't summon beals to be like oh this is totally i mean unless you're totally confident you're gonna crash into something you know the bills isn't doing anything you know too extraordinary besides being a beater that can't be destroyed by that other card effect you know he, he's generally not the answer type of kind of card in the toolbox you know if your opponent has a whole bunch of faith of attack position monsters oh look instead of going for bills let me go for hot there you go you know that that's the kind of card that you answer you know I kind of feel like it's kind of the same with Starter Warrior and then this guy. Starter Warrior, and he stops some Inherent Summons. That, that's powerful. That's powerful. You know, Black Owner Heaven, that is powerful. Stopping Inherent Summons. If your opponent tries to Synchro Summon, your opponent tries to Exceed Summon, if your opponent tries to motherfucking Pendulum Summon, Tribute, all go. All the grave. Even the Pendulums? No, 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 no. Get that shit out of your extra gra graveyard. You will never summon. You never have to feel. The power. The power. Just Black Owner is powerful. That card's powerful. This on the other hand, it's more of the aggressive card. This is, you know, it's like, it's like, it's like Cataster, which of course, you know, situationally, if you're going against a non-dark monster, you go ahead and battle it, and then bam, they're dead. Oh yeah, I killed your monster, you know, great. You know, but then you got Armadies. It's just like, yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in, and your opponent can't do shit. I'm going in, get ready, get ready. You know, this guy's like the Armadies, because he's going to go in and it just be like, oh, spell speed to effect. I'm unaffected by all the card effects. Of course, that means your card effects as well, so be careful about that. But, you know, it's just kind of cool to have a 3,000 beer who's unaffected by card effects. I mean, we already like Beals because he can't be destroyed battle on by card effect. But this guy, he's just like, I am unaffected by other card effects. So, you know, you attack with that Beals, you get deep prison. Oh, fuck, you, you attack with me. And then they go deep prison, you go chain effect. And then make, make myself unaffected, and then your opponent chains to that deep prison. <laughs> uh, you know, it would be nice that they. I, and, and you know what? I totally think it's worth it for this final starter card. I wish they would have said that your opponent can't activate any cards or effects in response to this and make him full speed four. Because it really seems like they could just they could just start a multi chain and wreck you. And that certainly really sucks. Because they could just go, you know, activate response. You use your effect chain. Chain was all backwards. You're already fucked. You know, so. And of course, it's once per turn. It's not like you know you can keep doing it. It's not like it just you can go like Aff you know effect block, effect block again. Like no. So if they start multi chain, you're probably gonna get f wrecked though. But uh, hey, you know Quasar faced the same problem. He can go ahead and negate. But if you go ahead and chain to his effect, you no know, monsters are only supposed to be two. <laughs> so uh, overall, I think this card's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I would if I. Ran some kind of synchro deck with, of course, formula because the power. Why not go ahead and just splash one of these in there? If you got room in your extra deck, it's worth it. So, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. So, I will see you guys next week with some more cards to look at. Alright, people, thanks for watching.